We're here on the Huawei stand and we're fortunate enough to talk to Guo Ping, rotating CEO. Guo, thank you for joining us. What's the biggest risk while we're waiting for 5G? Uh, in my opinion, the biggest uh, uh, risk will come from the uncertainties brought about the new technologies and the new business models. We must not miss the opportunities during the digital transformation and we should do something to help the other vertical industries. So if 5G is going to arrive in 2020, what should the industry do before that? The first is increase network connectivity. The second one is um, shift from the being supply driven to being demand driven uh, as we aim to enable uh, vertical industries. The third is redefine network cap capabilities. You just mentioned increased connectivity. Which technology is best placed to meet that demand? After 4G, 4.5G will be the basic uh, technologies for the digital transformation. Uh, 4.5G have uh, three uh, basic features. One, a data rate higher than one gigabit. The second is HD voice and video anytime, anywhere. The third is large-scale IoT capabilities enabled by MBIoT technologies. These three are also the basic features for the next uh, five years network capabilities. Okay, you mentioned redefining network capabilities in the telecoms industry. Can operators do that transition on their own or do they need a strategic partner? Uh, carriers need to establish the software-defined architecture, uh, achieve agile operations, and develop big data operation capabilities. Carriers also need to choose a specific and uh, strategic partner with integration uh, capabilities. And the carriers themselves also need to develop their integration capabilities and uh, build a more open and innovative ecosystem. Huawei has launched the SoftCam architecture, and this architecture will enable the carriers to develop in the software-defined networking and develop the uh, virtualized networks and the move networks to cloud. SoftCam has truly enabled the ICT convergence. Thank you very much. This has been David Pringle reporting for Mobile World Live TV.